guys welcome or welcome back to my channel body for days by jerica if you are new here hi i'm jerica today i'm going to show you a juice that's going to help with your anemia it's going to help with your energy level it's going to help and give you dewy and glowy skin it's going to overall help you work out um, help you be a better and healthier you. It's gonna give you tons of hydration, tons of fiber, tons of everything you need to be that girl, okay? If you're new here, I help women lose weight. I am a mom of three and I have lost nearly 100 pounds. I just had a little baby, so I'm back on a weight loss journey again. But since the last time you guys came to the channel, I have been able to lose more weight. And today I wanted to, I wanted to show you what's tea and you know, on my channel I do not gatekeep so if you like content like that like share comment and subscribe we're gonna get into our powerful the almighty beet juice okay if you don't like beets this is a way for you to incorporate beets into your daily diet along with some other fun treats we have so I'm gonna talk to you guys and explain exactly what we're having in this juice how it's gonna taste I'm gonna taste it with you since I'm in my fasting window and let's get to the video Okay, so our first ingredient is pineapple. Now, this is an organic pineapple that my husband actually picked up from Sam's Club. And I wanna let you guys know that if you are new to juicing, um, it's okay to use the diced pineapple that's already diced, okay? I just recently started cutting my own fruits um, and vegetables if it was diced I was buying it okay but I wanted to go more organic so I decided to um, just start buying more organic things and getting them cut up on my own and I can definitely see the difference in having organic fruits and vegetables um, versus just buying things that are already uh, processed, so on and so forth. So it might take you a little bit of time to actually get that those little things done. But usually when my fruits and vegetables come in, um, and I know they're gonna go bad, and to keep them from going bad, I will already um, just batch cut everything up so I can already have it. But anyway, y'all know I love to talk and I am gonna talk to y'all. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, okay? Um, pineapples are not only a delicious treat, um, they are great for recovery and they are great for healing. They are great for healing. And when I say healing, I mean any kind of healing. Um, breakup, heartbreak, anything. <laughs> Muscle recovery. Um, if you are having a major surgery, if you are, um, you know, sore from your workouts and um, along with your taking your, you know, post-workout or your protein, um, you can have pineapple, okay? Also, also, they are tons of, they have tons of water. Next we have, and this watermelon was so heavy, I actually ordered it on Instacart, so they did do really, really good when they brought this. I'm going to use a half of watermelon for this recipe. I'm not gonna use the whole thing. I am gonna use the rest at a later time. Um, but they did really, really good with this one when they brought it and it's so heavy. I was afraid that it was gonna end up rolling off the counter, y'all. So I was like, OMG, this is like really, really heavy. It's a really good, good watermelon. It's so red in the inside, you guys. This one actually came from Publix, it smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. So for you guys who like watermelon, um, watermelon is a fruit. I need to get a bigger knife. That ain't gonna do it. I feel like, I feel like with that knife, I feel like with that knife, I'm like, with that knife right here, I'm doing the most. Okay, so watermelon, um, it is a natural detox. So if you're looking to detox your body um, and you like juicing, you can either put it in a blender, add a little bit of water, or you can juice it how I'm juicing it. Um, so if you don't have a blender or you're thinking about getting one, start with the cheapest one first. Okay, that's what I did. My first, my first juicer was like 
forty dollars. I think I got it on sale, um, and then because I was wanted to be sure that I was sure about what I was doing. But watermelon is a natural detox. Um, tons of water content, so it's also great for dehydration. It's great to hydrate your body, um, and this is a great way to flush out toxins that you might have in your body um, so you can put good bacteria and good things into your body okay so for this recipe remember we're adding just this one half of a watermelon if you are one of those girls who are like me <laughs> and I say that because I can't say that I won't go back to just using um, cut up fruit if I'm having one of those busy busy days um, and the kids are doing the most and the family's doing the most and I don't have time I can't say I won't run back and buy some fruit that's already cut up but I love the fact that um, having more organic things um, if you want to go to your local Publix or your local um, here and I live in Huntsville Alabama if you guys don't know we have a Sprouts we have a Fresh Market we have a Whole Foods we got a Trader Joe's we got everything that you need here for your produce we also have farmers markets go figure so go and you know if you want to step outside your comfort zone and start buying more organic buy more organic trust me it just hits different our next component is a red apple okay so i got a question um, in the comments that asked me why um uh why didn't i peel off the skin of the apple and i'm going to tell you why i didn't peel it off okay so the fiber that you're going to get um, so when you juice, you do get uh, your, your nutrients and your, your vitamins and the thing that come in that juice. But you got to realize also sometimes when you juice, um, some fruits, you might strip the fiber from them. So with the red apple, the skin has the fiber, okay? It's very, very low in calories and it also makes you feel very, very full. So the skin here on this apple is where your fiber resides, all right? So we're gonna use one red apple for this juice. And next, I have a little trash can right here. So um, if you're starting juicing, you're thinking about juicing, you wanna juice, have, a, have something by you so you can dump everything. Next, we are using a ruby red grapefruit. Now, this is a, yeti, a small one. Um, it definitely wasn't what I was expecting to get because I ordered it online. Um, and I just need to go into the store and just pick it up. But anyway, this is a ruby red grapefruit. Grapefruits help you feel full. Okay, so if you're having a problem overeating, if you are have a problem um, just being greedy, <laughs> um, grapefruits um, some people don't like grapefruits if you want to substitute the grapefruit in this or you're allergic which I know somebody's gonna write down below um, you can substitute it for orange um, you might be allergic to orange too and then you had to put <laughs> then you on your own then you gotta use tangerine and go on so so forth but the ruby red grapefruit Again, it's very, very low in calorie, very, very high in water content, and it's gonna make you feel very, very full. I actually wanna eat this right now because it's so freaking juicy, y'all. Like, I'm not making this up. Next, we have the star of tonight. Coming to the chopping block. Y'all watch Food Network. Coming to the chopping block. Uh, we have three beets, okay? Um, and shout out to you girls who eat pickle beets. I can't get into it. Uh, comment down below if you want those girls. Um, I know some people in BFD, um, Miss Dottie, she loves her some um, pickle beets. Maybe I can't get into it. Um, you better be happy you get it this way. Um, so if you don't like beet and you've been considering trying beet juice, um, just fear a warning, they will make your stool red. Um, <laughs> so don't get scared and be like oh my god my stool is red so on and so forth don't be alarmed by the redness by the redness in your stool okay so for these I got these scrubbed down with a scrub brush 
Um, I also use baking soda. You can use a little bit of vinegar, but I'm out of vinegar. I would have used it if I had it. But um, beets. I've been using this juice as a pre-workout. So um, mind you, I'm not lifting like really, really heavy, but I do do extensive cardio. That That's one of my traits that I do. Sometimes, you know, um, up to an hour of cardio. It just depends on the day and how I feel. But I've been using this juice as a pre-workout. And when I tell you, if you are the type of person, now I won't say I'm against pre-workout because that would not be true. But if you are the type of girl that is wanting something natural to first start your journey with and something to give you energy um, and give you that little extra extra push or to get you through your midday if you are a coffee lover like me have some beet juice okay they are a stimulant they are a great um source of energy for your pre-workout and even your post-workout because some girls like me too after i finish working out i start dragging and you might not get too much after me especially in a good push workout when i'm actually killing it and crushing it for you guys um some days i'm like out of energy and i have the beet juice and not only, you know, it, it provides so much um, nut nutrients, so many vitamins, but it's also good. And I love it when my kids can drink it too, because our kids matter, right? So I like to give them what I have as well, because I've seen some comments ask, Do my, does my family drink it? Yes, my family drinks it. My husband's on board. Everybody's on board, because I'm, I'm that type of person. Here, taste this, taste this, taste this. And it is so good. And so refreshing, especially over ice. I'm a I'm an ice cold girl. Um, I know some of you guys are like lukewarm, <laughs> room temperature. <laughs> I am an ice cold girl. I like my stuff to be cold. So you could put this over ice if your fruits or veggies are not chilled. And this video was requested that I come back and show you guys another easy beetroot recipe. Um, that's affordable, that stuff that you might already have in your fridge that you are, you need to do something with. This is definitely that, okay? And this will last in the fridge for about three to five days. If you wanted to put it into a plastic container, you can put it into a plastic container and you can freeze it. And when you get ready to pop it out, you just pop it out. It already has a high water content anyway. So when you're defrosting it or unthawing it, when we say unthaw. When you're unthawing it, that water content, it don't matter, okay? I don't know if y'all like me, but I love when it starts to come all together and, it, you know, everything starts to mesh. So let's go ahead and start juicing. So I know, <laughs> I know that this is a hundred percent 
shirt coming all down. Y'all, did y'all tell me my shirt? My jacket was unzipping. Um, so I 100% know that this is about to make a mess. Like, ain't no doubt in my mind. This is about to make a mess. Um, I've tried many, many methods of pouring this um, juice. I've tried to put it into a cup, cup measure. I tried to do it different kinds of ways and there is no met method to this madness. But I started to realize that my um, container, which is 32 ounces, was filling. So I made sure I had all my beets here, the apple, half of the pineapple, and half of the watermelon because the water content in them today is crazy. So it's very, very unpredictable how much juice that you're gonna get simply because these fruits be unpredictable. Sometimes they give you a whole lot of juice, even though they're high water content, sometimes they might give you less, okay? It depends on really the ripeness in the fruit or the vegetable. Um, so yeah, so let's get this thing poured up. It smells absolutely delicious. It looks super, super tasty and I know I'm gonna make a mess. Alright, so let's pour up. Oh my god. Jericho, please don't waste this. Please don't waste this. There gotta be a better way. There gotta be a funnel. Something for this because it's gonna waste. I don't know what to do. I want to stick a straw right in here and drink it. You hear me? Alright guys, so our beet juice is now complete. I'm so happy for it. Um, let's go ahead and give our juice a taste. This is so good. Oh my God. Definitely, definitely the one and not the two. If you want more videos like this, if you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Visit bodyfordays.com to join my email list so you can join any of my four-week programs to work out with me to have more healthy recipes. Or if you're looking to start your health and wellness journey, this is the place for you. Again, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.